This video is to show you how to add checklists to an employee. So uh, when you have an employee that needs a checklist added to them, we can simply pull up the employee and add it to their record. So the best way to do that is to go to the hamburger, go to the team icon, my team employee information. Then you can select the employee. We'll go to Dana Fry here. And from inside Dana's record, we can use this small search bar underneath the blue buttons that is a search for the employee record. And we can just type in checklists. You can see that it's on multiple tabs, but it's the same widget no matter which tab you select. So we're just going to select one of them. And then when we go to checklists, we can click the add button and we can pick the checklist that we want to add to the employee and say save. When we do that, it opens up the first screen of the employee's checklist for us to see. We can click the back arrow, it takes us back to the employee record. Um, and then when I pull up the checklists again, just to confirm, I can see on their widget that the new checklist has been added. So um, maybe you have a situation where, like these COVID vaccine status responses, we want to add those to all employees. I'm just going to go to the main search bar at the top of the screen and type in checklists. And from here, we're going to use the one that says HR checklist. And this gives us a record of all employees. I'll just go ahead and extend that. Um, it's all employees with all checklists that have been assigned. So uh, you can review the status of a checklist to see whether it's been completed or if it's still open. And you can assign a checklist in mass to multiple employees by clicking this Assign New button up here at the top. Then in the drop down, we're going to browse. We get a list of all of our employees and we can say uh, who the employees are that we want to include by selecting their rows. Then we click the button that says Add to Selection. That updates this Selected tab, gives us everybody we've chosen. And then we're going to apply that and it gives us these three employees that we're going to choose our uh, checklist and add that to those employees. When I save, it brings them all up on our list. So we've got three new ones and one old one. All right, that's all there is to adding checklists to employees. If uh, for some reason you add one by mistake, like Josh already has one out here, all you have to do is to add the button to delete the checklist out here in front of the row and I can just delete the new one like so. You can also select a row and delete multiples. Okay, that's all there is to um, adding and removing checklists from employee records. Let me know if you have questions.